I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England, for our main event of the evening. Twelve rounds in the welterweight division, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. You got this one. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Fine looking right hand by Holt. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Teddy, what's the, for a power puncher facing a guy who, you know, he knows his opponent doesn't have much stamina. He knows that he's not going to be going after it late. Well, that could be a real trap. You'll get a little over anxious. You're looking for that home run. And while you're looking for the home run, you're striking out all night. Good return fire that time. A headshot blocked. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Holt. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Hey, you got some of that, too. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Halfway through round number one. One, two. One, two. <laughs> a little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Keep working the body. <laughs> Not able to land the uppercut. as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. The Latin Snake's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Holtz once again the target of a hook. This round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside as always with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> you know, they, they do. <laughs> they, these guys, they don't have the reach. No, they, they can't don't. reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table. But great guys. able to land the headshot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the Latin Snake. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Get him, get him. 
Good block by Holt. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. The Latin snake's <gasps> punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Holt. Still not moving enough. Right to the head with that right. They both decide to bring it. Here's one for you now, he says. Right he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck. Solid. Good shot. What a nice uppercut. Holds down. That's the danger of that punch. It comes up the low where you can get your legs under it, and you don't see it. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. The Latin Snake's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Able to cover up that gut. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Holt's on the heels of that knockdown he suffered, and right now, he's in the arms of his opponent. He's just looking to clinch. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's looking to clinch. He's looking to clutch. He's looking to hug the guy. You know, he's looking to make sure that he's still here when this bell rings. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Holt. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. And he just holds on there. You got this one. You need to keep that And hand that's moving. what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Punch. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. The Latin Snake's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. In and out, in and out, in and out. Falls victim to that big hook. Holt's able to land a good, solid left hand. Wow, is he defensively sound. And this
this round comes to an end. Round number four underway. The Latin Snakes only won one round, but it was a significant round, Teddy. Yeah, he scored a knockdown. Obviously, he knows that he got that extra point there. And more importantly, he knows for the future he can hurt the guy. Holtz well off the mark that time. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Blocks the headshot. Comes right back with some offense of his own. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Locks that punch. Keep that head moving. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Body shot, body shot. The Latin Snakes defense is paying Still off now. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got hurt earlier in the fight? Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. But if you want to win this fight, you have to get a hold of yourself, you have to listen to me, and you have to find a way to create offense again. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Holt's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old timers used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Nowhere close that punch by Holt. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not punch, on the front punch. end, but on the back end. Holt's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway into round number five here.
fires right back at him. Holtz showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Latin Snake. Excellent one-two by Holtz. Well, he missed that right. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Holtz keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Relax, relax. Hit by a counter punch there. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Latin Snake. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good work toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Left and right. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the Latin Snake. Good job protecting himself. Colt showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, they make you miss, and then there's something coming back. It creates opportunities to hit you. How about a return to sender with the left hand? That was not well targeted by Holt. You're not focusing. Come out. Final ten seconds of the sixth round. And crisp. That is the way to describe the punching we've seen out of him tonight. Not much left in this fight. Teddy, not much doubt as to who's controlling him. No, a triangle is better than a square. Why? More sides. And he has shown me a lot of sides. Given angles, counter punching, working inside, working outside. That's why he's the man.
exchange, he fires back. Comes right back at him with a left hand. The Latin Snake's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land more. Yeah, he needs to calm down and think more. At the halfway point of round seven. If you had move. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Took a shot, now he gives a left. You're losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? Teddy's scorecard has this a one-sided fight. Holt's putting together a good-looking fight here. He just doesn't have that highlight reel knockdown that you'd expect. No, but I give him credit. You know, he's not forcing the issue either. You know, he understands his identity. He understands what he is and what he's not. Relax, relax. Good job staying away from the danger there. Keep moving, keep moving. Holtz coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. He scored well after being hit himself. Nice block by Holtz. Holtz showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. The halfway point of round number eight. hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now.
The Latin Snake's punch is far off the target. Look! Look! He's Counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round eight. Holt's in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't like in football go into that three-fat defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. Nice block by Holtz. <laughs> the Latin Snake's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Doing great. Hands up. Hands up. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Yeah, good one. Back in the center. Halfway through the ninth round. Holt's able to avoid that punch. Focus! There's the headshot, but he parries it away. The Latin Snake's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Point the body, kid. Body shot. Right, let's do it. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. You let this guy get away. Come on. This is it. You've got to make it a fight. It. And now they start round number 10. Nice strike after catching one by the Latin Snake. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Nice block by Holtz.
Keep moving. Keep moving. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Defense just covering up down low. <laughs> Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Good block. There's the left hand working well for him again. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. Bolt's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? We got it. I'm sure as a trainer, when you get in a spot like this, there's extra emphasis of letting your charge know just what he's capable of pulling up. I look at your scorecard, he's only trailing by a very small margin here in round number 11. Well, the key right now as a trainer, and you just touched on it, you have to remind your charge, your fighter, of why he's doing it. Things that he understood when it was nice and calm when everything was very understandable, when he told you in the gym, hey, I want to be champion. You got to remind him of that and say, okay, here's your chance. Here's your moment. His eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Let's see some more head move. Let's see some more head move. Get out of the way. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Locks it away. Jump on him. Nice. Keep working the body. He clinches when he gets to the inside. A nice block by Holt. Pace yourself. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good. 
this round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Okay. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little okay. bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Twelfth and final round. That straight right unable to connect. Locks away that headshot. Scored well with the hook after blocking that shot. Blocks that punch. Pace yourself. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. <laughs> oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good combination to the head. that punch intended for the head. He just missed that shot up top. Looking right hand after he got hit. Teddy, who would have ever thought it? Two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that it would go to a decision. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you thought you were going to get a firework display, and you wind up getting a little bit of painting. Colt's dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision, a unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. It was an easy one to 